Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Sunless Skies, the seven-day series. We're heading off to Win New Winchester, which means we want to go pretty much like that. We'll drop off anywhere new as well, and uh, we haven't quite, quite leveled up, but uh, hopefully we will soon. Uh, yeah, we're, we'll we'll see if we can find anywhere new on the way. I think there's actually a place literally just here. There's a place over there. This looks like uh, there might be a giant here. <laughs> B5 Bold Fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. That's very cool. Uh, so yeah, as I, as I said before, I think it's a little bit limited currently in what you can do, but it's it's got enough to be interesting at the very least, you know. Uh, especially if you like summer seas and, and that kind of thing, so, so that's good. Um, it, I did find it was hard to find much to do without money, and I kept on spending my money on supplies and fuel. So that was an issue I ran into. So keep 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 that in keep that in mind. Like until they add more stuff, and they did say it themselves. You know, a carmine glow burns in the dark. Magdalens, where you can buy comforting lies. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies. So I've been here before, and I know what Magdalene says. There we go. Managed to not hurt ourselves, that's good. The House of Small Comfort. Magdalene's is the closest thing many Skyfarers have to a home. It offers services to alleviate the strain of spending a life spent too close to the stars. Magdalene's is one of the few places that will allow you to improve your condition, should it worsen. So condition is this here. Terror. Our terror currently is, is wary. And if we get if we get back to uh, New Winchester before this completely fills up and goes to two, it will reset. Uh, so that's something to consider as well. Uh, so we can speak with an attendant. I'm. I do want to get. A, I want to try and get fairly far through because you know I'm 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 visiting this once currently. Uh, yeah, okay, so let, let's not let's not read all of this. We'll collect a port report. Magdalene's is abuzz with activity, barely has the clock chimed, then a clamour goes up at front desks. A desk, guests rushing to and from appointments. Lord Placeholder was seen in conversation with the amenable host. The East Wing was closed for general access all day. A certain distinguished admiral was seen with his second in command, entering one of the chambers of regret. Several guests succumbed to an excess of sentimentality and were forcibly removed. Talk to patients being discharged. Some, some leave smiling, others weeping. No one can resist looking back behind them, even for just a peek. So what I think this place is... Uh, observe guests going for treatment. A trio of guests is going in, all, in together, all dark-haired and straight-backed. Yes, I know it's not the real thing, but I'd like a sense of closure, the tall woman says. What rot, barks the short woman next to her. You want to argue over the will again. I've told you once I am not giving up the spoons based on a charlatan's say-so. Do be quiet, please, one man says. I, for one, am more than happy to hear again while I was lumbered with the third best wardrobe. So, uh, it seems to be almost like a fake uh, talking to the dead, but in kind of like an admittedly fake talking to the dead way. Uh, which pr pretty pretty much has you um, uh, pr pretty much has the these these people coming in paying for services and meeting their debt. You know they can choose who they meet. So let's talk to the amenable host. Uh, and the amenable host is uh, voices soft and sibilant, like butter melting in mellow candlelight. Seems there is a guest who has gotten rather too attached to a particular attendant. Or is he requests that the same attendant appear in the same guise? The immediate host's lip curls into distaste. 
He reiterate, reiterates the aim of Magdalens, a place of healing, a place of sanctuary, a place of respite. It was never intended to feed a broken heart that is an unhealthy state in which to linger. This guest brings sickness. I would have him purged. I have a dossier on our guest if you're interested in helping. Uh, we'll take the lacrimose guest's thing. Uh, the amenable host smile washes across his face like a wave destroying an inner in a sandcastle competition. Uh, I'm so glad you can help us. He produces a thin sliver of pages and passes them to you. I'd recommend taking the role of one of our attendants and in doing so, playing the role of someone significant to him. The amenable host sighs, reaching for his goblet. He knows all of our attendants by voice now. Someone new is needed. Uh, so what we'll do is we will deal with the lacrimose guest. And we'll deal with this... By approaching him directly. Disguises have caused this poor sword enough trouble. Uh, the lacrimose guest's eyes widen as you approach. Has there been a problem? You invite him to sit. Stiff brandies are ordered. You recount your own share of heartbreaks and tragedies. How you found yourself here. And you make clear that despite all that. You will be leaving. He nods slowly. And after a quick shake of your hand. Walks away towards the station. He does not look back. And we'll go speak to this guy again. And tell him that we've dealt with the... Amenable, uh, we've dealt with the lacrimose guest. This guy is the amenable host. Uh, the amenable host smiles beautifully. Of course, my staff will be pleased. It is a risk of our trade when our clients can no longer separate identity and illusion. He breathes out, his sigh echoing around the atrium like a loose bird. It is a trap any of us could fall into. Here, take this. Uh, he fishes around beneath his couch for one of his goblets. It'll fetch a pretty price. Take it with my thanks. Do visitors. Do visit us again. And we got ten sovereigns for it. Yay! It's you know, it's alright. Uh, so we don't really need to deal with that currently. We will recruit an officer. Uh, hello, he waves, waves cheerily as he scrambles aboard. And now we have Quartermaster 2. Uh, and you can see that over here. So we've got the Quartermaster here. Three veils, one mirrors, affiliation, Bahim. Uh, and we've got uh, one heart, what, three iron, affiliation, establishment. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go. So we've got three port reports. Oh, we, we have up here as well. So, uh, moment of reflection, select facet or deed. We can get an unlikely haul, which will give us a heart and, I can't remember what that is. Or we can get the smoggy streets, which can give us iron and hearts. Let's go with the iron and hearts. Uh, you spent much of your youth in the hard end of London, where the gas lamps are scarce, the prospects bleak, and the people are as flinty as the cobbles. How did you like it there? You were at home, which gives us veils and iron. Or you despised it, which gives us veils and hearts. I think let's go with uh, the iron, because that's kind of fighty, and that I haven't done that before. Uh, the smoke painted your lungs black. Uh, your knuckles were scarred, but it was honest. There were diamonds in the dirt. There we go. And now we gain that, and next time we level up, we can choose other, like, branching paths, which is kind of cool. Okay. Tally bally ho, old chap. Yeah, so we just head straight down this way. We'll put it on... Oh, I didn't do that properly. We'll put it on cruise control. Oh, what's this? Let's just take a miniature, miniature detour. Ah, it's Gamble's Grove, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, with a groan like a dying whale, your locomotive's hull buckles. Die. Your engine dies, your vessel splits apart. The cold takes you. Thank you, player, for playing Summer Skies. You may now create a new captain. Uh, let's uh, resume from last autosave. 
So that that's me being crap. Did we get the port report? Possessions. Uh, where where do we see that? Uh, fastidious Albert Hock. Unwelcome truth. Let's just go back quickly and make sure... Wait, 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 wait. There's an easy way to do this. Okay, we do have 260 sovereigns, so that's fine. Okay, so we got destroyed there. Uh, I'm going to admit that I've run into a lot of those guys before. Let's just go with the stuff we did before. I've run into those guys before, and they've never attacked me. So... That was weird. We might try and fight him again and try and be less crap. Because uh, that sounds like a good idea. I'm glad we can reload from the autosave and it's not like Iron Manning us. So is he around here still? Or again, I guess. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, this little fella is. Uh, we could get some supplies, but we don't really need to. Taste of smog, the sound of iron on iron. We are home. I do really like the uh, the aspect of kind of... I don't know. Yeah, the, the aspect of like... Steampunky-ish. Wrong way. Oh, oh fuck. Okay, well this works, I guess. There we go. So, uh, first in, we go to Wolvesy Station and into Wood New Winchester. Opportunity, transport a settler. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you took me to Traitor's Wood. I'm in the mood for a spot of sport. Uh, she rushes onto your vessel as soon as you finish shaking hands. Excellent. I'll stay out of your way then. You'll hardly ever notice me, even notice me. Any luck, you'll forget I'm even here. Oh, that's disturbing. Uh, respond to a distress call. Captain, a broad-shouldered tactee speaks for the group. A friend of ours, there are protests, an acquaintance of ours, has sent a message from Hybrus. She needs transport back to New Winchester. Would you mind picking her up if you happen to go out that way? She's a filmmaker. Goes by Madame Lumiere. Lumiere. Uh, she says she'd never return, so I have to assume she's taken ill. It would be good to make sure she's back safely. Okay. We will repair our hull. Uh, we don't need recruits, and we can't do any of these things. So let's go to Victory Hall. Because I worked for the company last time, so I'm going to give deliver my port reports here. So deliver our port reports to Indurate Veteran. She listens with a scowl. Well, I'd rather know than not, I suppose, and thank you for bringing this to me, rather than the bloody stovepipes. I'll arrange a gratuity. So we got 40 sovereigns, one fuel and one supplies, and we got two favour. Well, we got three port reports there, and that only gave us 40, so wow, that's not that much. Um... Can we sell fuel and... Because we can buy... This is the problem here, is we, we've got a full hold. So... Like, we can buy bronzewood here and a pane of stained glass. But... Yeah. We need to get rid of what we got. Okay, so... Can we, like... Okay, so we can jettison this and this. Jettison. There we go. And then we can buy the bronze wood. 
and the pane of stained glass. There we are. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. And then we'll leave. And what we'll do is we'll go up to Magdalene's. Yeah, we'll go up to Magdalene's. We'll get a port report there again. We'll go up to Port Prosper. We'll get a port report there. And we'll hand in the stained glassing. And then we'll drop the settler off uh, at the place. And then maybe go a bit further. See if we can get another port report. That seems like a good plan. Or at least a plan. It's always nice to have a plan, guys. Okay, so Magdalene's is like there. Let's get going. The music in this is great, by the way. It's uh, very... Almost firefly -y. And I had someone I had someone talking, and I can't, they said something about, like, how cool would it be if there was a Bioshock game like this, or something like that? And I was like, what if... It was like this, except for it was Firefly. And, uh, like, uh, after I said, Can we not stop at Magdalene's, Captain? We've been too long in the sky. Yeah, you can see, like, we didn't quite get our terror all the way up to two. So it got reset when we went into New Winchester. Port report? Yeah, good. We can get a port report. That's the only thing. Return to the amenable host. Has he got? No. Oh, he's got a request? Uh, okay. Uh, I admired your discretion earlier. I've also taken the liberty of checking into your past, Captain. He smiles. All good. You have seen the dangers of our work upon those who purchase our services, yet we can suffer a similar blurring of the self. He draws your attention to the paintings on the wall. My regulars have, at various points in time, Requested that I be a prospector, Captain, on Lustrum, heir to a fine house in Port Prosper, and a titan of industry on New Winchester. I have vivid memories of all three, yet, I, yet all cannot be true, surely. He presses a locket into your hand. This bears my graven image. See if anyone remembers me, the true me. Okay. So, did we get that? Could I... <coughs> oh, pardon me, guys. Sorry about that. Uh... So we need to go to owner of Magdalene's, forgot who he is, amenable host wishes you to cover his identity. Travel to any of Lostrum, New Winchester, and Port, Port, Port Prosper. Okay, well that's cool, we got another uh, job. So let's, uh... <coughs> oh god damn, I'm so sorry guys. I should have muted there, or like, or like stifled it, but I just wasn't expecting it. For some reason. Okay, so yeah, let's go straight to Port Prosper, and we can do part of that uh, part of that request, uh, and then we can drop off the stained steel and the and the bronze wood for the for the clock, and yeah. There we go. Just sidestep some of this crap. That crap. That does use up a bit of heat, it looks like, but I don't think it uses up too much fuel. I'm going to want to shift the prairie slightly to the right here. So yeah, we'll go. We'll, we'll go do the. We'll go do as much requests and stuff, and build up some money if we can. I don't know, like, where we're going with this exactly. I think currently the only, the only kind of, the only aim you can aim for, as it were, is to get the. Um, which way do we go? This way, I think. Oh, yeah, okay, this way. I think only amassing wealth is the only real option here. 
So getting and making money. Okay, Queen's Cross Station, new clock tower. Uh, deliver the materials. There we go. You've gained 800. Ooh, 800 sovereigns. Uh, you've paid. You are paid extremely well for the delivery, and the foreman shakes you warmly by the hand. Won't take us no time now, he says with a grin. Maybe we should name the damn clock after you, eh? Okay, so that got us a lot of money. Attend a private meeting at the Windward Company. Attend a parade. Ah, search for your amenable host's identity. Not a soul in Port Prosper recognises the locket. Who's that, then? Does he still wear his hair like that? Fancy. Become familiar of friends. More promising is the house you saw painted in the amenable host chamber. You can locate several candidates, all apparently repainted over the last couple of years, but one is in the exact location near the station as depicted in the host painting. Nobody ever seems to remember who owned it or why, but apparently it had been once been associated with the Parlour of Virtue not long after Pro Port Prosper's foundation. Okay, interesting. We'll recruit the clay conductor as well. There we go. Write a port report. I think I forgot to write a port report for this place. I think that's what happened. Uh, the Parsimius Chairman's Office uh, sits behind his mahogany desk, a decanter of brandy at his left hand, a series of neatly stacked reports at his right. Listen to his offer. Um, okay, so he's basically asking us to hunt... Tacti locomotives provide their nameplates for the parsimonious, parsimonious chairman. So we'll accept his offer, um, just because why not? Attend a parade. Gaudy banners, a painted right, red dragon, a painted dragon, mingle with the West Enders, fraternise with everyone. Tolerated by the prosperous West Enders, tolerated by the impoverished East Enders. Huge cry goes up, a thief at Admiral Nelson, the gods will not be kind. There we go. Oh, take a factory tour? Sure. Uh, the factories of Port Prosper's East End belch out smokes, smoke at an impressive rate. Inside, hours mined from the Mother of Mountains are agonisingly refined. The workers live in tenement blocks adjoining, adjoining the smokestacks and are rarely seen in the rest of Port Prosper. Their hours are long and the reserves of their energy are low. Today, the owner of the Windward Refinery is allowing visitors to tour his factory. Interesting. So we can admire the factory, which uh, mirrors give us, us a 62% chance. Or we can lurk in the shadows, loiter even. And our veils give us an 83% chance. So let's, let's loiter, lurk. Nice. From your vantage point in the gloom, you see all sorts of things the other visitors are not privy to. Barrels being assigned to destination based on bribes rather than need. Fatigued workers revivified by sips of unrefined hours. Several respond poorly and are hauled away to the infirmary. Only the most youthful and vigorous workers have been assigned to the workstations the tours pass through. The rest wait in less, slight, wait in less slight, sightly rooms, in the shadows. One aged man catch your eye, catches your eye and winks. You're tolerated by the impoverished descenders. Snow swirls around Port, Fort, Port Prosper and settles on Mole's table. Fur-coated westenders dash through the drifts. Okay, cool. Uh, so we got three supplies and three fuel. We can probably buy one of each now. I don't think there's any reason not to currently. Uh, we can sell fuel here if we want, and we can buy a caddy of caddy of dried tea for sixty. But I think every place I've been to buys. You, you know, we can sell it there for. Oh, there's the Fulbright factory. Yeah, I think every place we we've, we've been to, we can we can we can sell it there for like forty or some some crap like that. So let's head on to Traitor's Wood. We'll get a port report, and hopefully we'll find at least one more place on our travels to find another port report. That's the basic plan now. However, it is time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps a lot, a lot. And of course, I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.